So hey guys, today I've got a kind of small haul, it's kind of all makeup except for the first two things I'm going to show you. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. First thing is this. This is only the box actually because I am using it right now. <laughs> it is a new tripod. This is the Hammer Star 61 camera tripod. It just looks like this. Um, yeah, it, it like extends out and everything, and it's got some cool features. It's like got one of those quick release plates. It goes really tall actually. It comes right up to like I can put the camera right on my eyes if I'm stood up. Um, has rubber feet. It has a free case included. Full height, 500 no 500 153 centimeters. Well, I'm 156 centimeters, so that's why it comes right up to my eyes. And yeah, I just really like this tripod. It was 10.99. That's what it looks like all extended out. 10.99 on Amazon. So I just kind of bought this, and my mum had like a free Prime. Like you can get like Prime, which is like you get it delivered the next day for like she had like a three month three trial. So I got it the next day. So this arrived yesterday, and I also bought this, which you probably don't care about, but I bought it, so I want to show you. Um, it's a new capo for my guitar because. The one that I was, my guitar teacher lent me one, but it's kind of like, I feel bad using his one, and it's a different type of capo. But this one, you just kind of like, clip it onto your guitar, and you're good. So this was like 5 99 and this was also on Prime. So yeah, that's all of the boring stuff out of the way. Well, boring for you, probably really interesting for me. And yeah, I'm going to start with Super Drug, even though this is kind of like the last things that I bought. Actually, no, this wasn't, I bought this ages ago. First thing is a MUA Lip Trio. Um... This is in the shade Scarlet and it's the pink ones and yeah it looks like that. I have already swatched this because my lip stick, lipstick collection should be up sometime either before or after this. I'm not really sure which way it's going to go around but either way. Basically in that a load of the footage got corrupt so I had to refilm loads of it so kind of was a bit awkward. But still I kind of like, don't like this. I don't really understand why they've put a little eyeshadow brush in there but they're alright. I mean they're not the best pigmentation in the world. I'm not going to swatch them because then it'll go everywhere and they're kind of like lip glosses, not really lipsticks, but you know, I think this was like £3.250. It's this used brush for smooth application, well, they're kind of streaky, they're alright, not amazing, £2.50 it's alright, but if you want these colours, do not buy this kind of thing because you have to build them up loads and stuff. Then, the other day, my sister, I was supposed to be going shopping with her and then I kind of had something else to do so I just kind of was like oh Hannah can you pick, this things, pick these things up for me so I was on the phone to her and I wanted some I wanted the Matte Perfection foundation from MUA um, one of their concealer sticks, loads of things but loads of things were out of stock in my shade so all the only things she could end up picking up for me were the MUA Power Pow in which loads of people have told me to try this in the shade Justify which is just the orange one. I have it on my lips and I'm not quite sure if I like it. I will swatch this on the back of my hand. Sorry if I've got marks. Actually, that's, that's my veins. That's not even marks. There's like not really an awful lot of colour payoff, but it's kind of okay. It's kind of streaky. It smells kind of like a very much toned down version of the Revlon, whatever they're called, kissable balm stain things. It's okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy any more. It just says it's a it colour intense tint and balm well the balminess has kind of disappeared already and I put it on less than five minutes ago so I don't know this is kind of mixed already I'm not really sure if I like it then the last thing I got from MUA well from Superdrug as well is another thing that people have asked me to try out and review is a um, cream blush <laughs> that's what I was trying to get at and this is in the shade Dolly and yeah it's just kind of like a peachy colour I haven't even tried this yet the seal is still intact I was going to try it today and then I just completely forgot. And yeah, so interested in trying this out. I've been wanting to try one of these out for quite a while. And this, I kind of picked this shade because it didn't look like one of the really bright ones or the really dark ones. I just kind of wanted something in the middle. But I think some of the dark ones, from the pictures I saw online, you probably could use them as a contour. Maybe not. I mean, <laughs> I haven't actually seen them, seen them. But on the pictures on the MUA website, they kind of look like if with the right skin tone, you might be able to get away from this contour. And I think this was two or three pounds, and then this was two or three pounds. Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> I didn't buy them, my sister bought them, and I need to pay it back actually. Thinking about that. Next, moving on to boots. I bought these at separate occasions, each thing really. So, yeah, I've only got three things from here, so this is actually quite a small haul. 
let's start off with, I've got the receipt for this, for some reason the receipt they gave me is like huge, so yeah, let's start off with the first thing that I bought ages ago, I bought the 17 on the spot foundation, I have filmed the first impressions of this, should be up before I put this video up, and it's in the shade Fair, but I still think it's a bit too dark for me. This foundation's really weird because it's in this kind of a tube, but then it's got a pump on it, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to wait until the summer, I think, before I use this more. It's supposed to be kind of like a spot foundation. It's like supposed to clear a skin. It says clear a skin in four weeks on the front. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, my skin is incredibly clear at the moment. I mean, I'm getting a couple of... Just throwing it around here. Okay, and a couple of kind of spots and stuff coming up, but in general, it's really good at the moment. So, I don't know if I actually need it, but yeah. Oh, I don't know how much this was. I bought this on another day. I think this was about three ninety nine. It was fairly cheap. Yeah, maybe it was four ninety nine or five ninety nine. Something like that. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was probably. I don't know because I wanted to get the Maybelline BB cream for oily skin, so I released the new BB cream. Um, but that was like. Whatever it was, it was like a pound or two pounds more, so it was like seven ninety nine or six ninety nine or something. I don't know, but yeah, I kind of just picked this up randomly because I heard someone talking about it. I think it was Miss Budget Beauty, so I just kind of went for it. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. Then next, I bought this nail polish, which I already have on my nails, and it is in from number seven, and it's in the shade Me Me Me. Not very impressed with this nail polish. It chips so badly like I've already had to repaint my nails and I went to bed and then woke up this morning and they were chipped again like it's ridiculous but I bought this because I had a voucher so I'd get 100 free points if I bought this so it was how much was it six pounds and I got 100 points so I kind of count that as five pounds but it's a really pretty color if you can be bothered to repaint it and yeah and it's kind of I don't know, you'd need two coats for it to be fully opaque, but you know, I kind of like the new packaging, they've got the flat brushes, dries fairly fast, so not overall too bad. The last, oh no, I've got two more, I've got two more things, I forgot about this, this I bought ages ago and I've done videos on it already on my nail channel, it is from Simple Colours and I may have already hauled this, I don't think I have, but yeah, we'll go with it, it's in the shade Island Coral and it is absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be like my colour of the summer I think. I think I already said that in my favourites video. It was in my favourites video, that was what it was. And it's just so pretty. And I already have a couple of other Simple Colours nail polishes which I found in like Pound Town before. But now Boots are stocking them. So they're $1.99 in Boots which is like similar price to Collection nail varnishes or Collection 2000, whatever you want to call them. But either way, I think this is absolutely amazing and I love this colour. I think it's going to look great with the tan. I currently have it on my toes with spots on it, like, but I don't really want to show you my feet because it's chipped beyond belief. But um, I've had them on for weeks, so that's probably why it's chipped. It's not the actual nail varnish problem, but yeah. I love this and I will definitely be trying out more colours, but when I bought this, they were like out of stock of almost every single colour. This is the last one in the shade, so if you want to go get some, maybe go get some soon or find out when they're restocking and then go straight away and get them. Last thing I have is this by John Frieda. It's a Frizzies Intense Hair Mask. My hair at the moment is kind of like really dry. I mean it looks really kind of smooth and glossy as well because I've just brushed it but it feels really dry and in need of like a something happening to it and it's also quite frizzy like you probably can't even tell on the camera but I have straightened it today as well which is kind of like not properly straightened it just kind of got rid of all the kinks from when I was in bed. Um, yeah, so it's an intensive mask, and it says it will fortify to resist breakage. Ooh, that sounds nice. And it says it has avocado oil as well, and this was only like one ninety nine. It says one ninety nine. Yeah, this was one ninety nine. So I thought it was quite nice, and I've not tried it yet. I'm waiting for this haul so I can try it. It just says that you've got to put it on wet hair, leave for three to five minutes, and then rinse thoroughly. So yeah, hopefully this will be good. I like John Frieda hair stuff, all the stuff that I've tried from them has been good, so yeah, big hopes for this. Might do a video on it, review if I can be bothered. Might not. If it's any good, then I will talk about it more in videos. But yeah, anyway, that's for my haul. Thank you a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. When I get to a thousand, I will be doing something to celebrate. Leave me ideas below. Um, I really don't know what to do. Um, my makeup collection might not be ready for then. It really just all depends on what I'll be able to do by then. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!